replace the loading shown by an equivalent single force and specify its x and y coordinates in the of its line of action. So let's sum the forces in the z direction. So that equals 200 plus 200 plus 100 plus 100. That equals 600 newtons. Now let's see how it rotates about x and y. So if we sum the moments about x right here, we got negative rotation being caused by this 100. So negative 100 times 3, 3 meters there, um, plus 200 times 1, plus 200 times 1 and plus 100 times 3. And if we sum that up, we get 400. Summing the moments in the y, so about the y axis, we have these three will cause positive rotation, that one will cause negative rotation. So negative 200 times 3 plus 200 times 2 plus 100 times 3 and plus 100 times 3 also. And that equals 400. Now let's find moment equals force times distance. So we're going to place this 600 newtons somewhere, you know, about here. So we need to find the x direction distance here and the y distance here. And so the moment in the x is 400, and that equals the force of 600 times the distance, so the distance is two-thirds. And then in the y, we had the same moment, so it's going to cause the same thing. So d in the x and d in the y will be equal. And they'll both be two-thirds. It'll be in the negative y direction and the positive x direction. And that gives us our point.